Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to boot the Latte Panda. Here I have the Latte Panda with the um, Wi Fi antenna attached to it. It is attached over here. And here is the screen, the Latte Panda screen, the 7 inch screen. So, to boot our Latte Panda, what we have to do is press the power button that is over here. I just press it. I well, we have to keep it pressed a few seconds, only like one second, and you can see the Latte Panda boots. It booted. And it will now load the operating system. So as you can see, the, the screen, it doesn't have some way to to attach it to something like to... to well, you have to make your own housing for it or something like that. Maybe the the DF robot website has some enclosure for the screen. I haven't checked it out, but as you can see, it's pretty much a uh, screen only. So here is our Latte Panda, as you can see, and Windows 10 is booting right now. And there we go. We are presented with the configuration wizard for Windows 10 for the first time use. So I'm going to configure it. I I'm going to to put here United States, I'm going to it's going to stay like that, even if I'm from Puerto Rico, but we are part of the United States, so it stays like that. Um, the preferred language is going to be in English as well, and the keyboard I'm going to choose United States International. So I select it, and now I'm going to the other steps. Let's press next over here. Let's connect to the Wi-Fi. I'm going to choose the Wi-Fi. It's going to connect to the Wi-Fi right now, and there we go. I'm going to use Express Settings over here. I'll press Express Settings. As you can see, it's pretty responsive. It is working pretty fast. Let's wait a moment. The screen looks pretty good too. Even if it is just a bird screen with nothing more attached to it, but it looks pretty good. So this is the Latte Panda. And this is the the front of the Rata Panda and this is the back of the Rata Panda. It has the red LED over there and this is the USB and mouse uh, the mouse and keyboard USB dongle that I'm using. This is the Wi-Fi antenna again. Um, it's still on the just wait a moment page. I assume it is downloading some kind of update or something like that. Or installing something or configuring something. By the way, this is the the Latte Panda USB cable that can be with, and I'm using the the official Latte Panda power adapter as well. So there we go. It finished the the waiting page. It will just wait a moment page. So right now, I have to sign in with the Microsoft account. So I'm going to type my account. All right. So I've entered my username and password, and now it is signing me in. I press the sign in button, it says please wait. I'm liking the Latte Panda so far, this thing it seems um, pretty responsive. I like the screen as well. The screen is not HD, it is a uh, 1024 by 600 pixels. So. And let's see the temperatures of, of it. Um, it is not warm. Seems um, pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Um, now it is asking me to set up a pin. Um, I'm just going to skip this step so we can um, continue with the setup. And again, well, this is the um, whatever. 
saving file only to this PC by default because I don't like to use OneDrive. Honestly, I don't like to use OneDrive, so I'm going to press here the save new files only to this PC by default. And there we go, meet Cortana, use Cortana, yes, use Cortana, wait a moment, just wait a moment. Oh, Windows 10 has so much things during the setup, and there we go, hi. We're happy you're here. Yes, I'm happy that, I'm happy to be here too. I'm happy that I got my Nate Panda finally. I didn't even get the tracking number for it, so I couldn't track it. Um, just a few minutes ago, there was the DHL guy in front of the door, uh, screaming because I'm in my room and I don't hear when someone is outside. But luckily, I was able to get it. So, yeah, I just got the Latte Panda a few minutes ago, and it is like um, 8 p.m. here in Puerto Rico right now, and the time when I made this video. So here we have Windows 10. It is doing the usual thing it does, it does on the background. Lots of great features to get excited about. Yeah, I know I have a lot of Windows 10 devices here. And all of them are using the installer preview. So as soon as the Latte Panda boots up, the first thing I'm going to do is um, install the latest um, insider preview view. So I really like the insider preview views, even, even if they are sometimes buggy or something like that, but um, I, I like to test the betas of everything, so yeah. Getting everything ready for you, uh-huh. I hope so. Some people are reporting that their Latte Panda turns off. Let's hope this doesn't happen to my Latte Panda port as I'm using the official um, Latte Panda power adapter. So, And the cable. Okay, there we go. Let's start. Finally, it booted up. So, there we have Windows 10 as usual. The desktop screen. You can see the screen looks pretty great. I really like it. Now that I see it in colors, let's open here File Explorer. Let's take a look over here. From the 32 gigabytes GMC, we have we see that we have um, 20.8 gigabytes free to use, so that is pretty good. Actually, it is pretty good. Now let's see the the processors and the specs of it. All right. Now I know what you're going to say. Isn't the Latte Panda supposed to have a um, 1.8 GHz Intel Atom processor? Well, the processor itself is 1.44 GHz. However, because this processor features Turbo Boost, the Turbo Boost indeed go up to 1.8 GHz. So, depending on the load of the computer, the Latte Panda could go to 1.8 GHz. You can see it has 2 GB of RAM and Windows is activated of course, it, can, it comes with the Windows license. Oh, and this is a, a little panda, the Latte Panda, so yeah, the Latte Panda logo. So, here we have the Latte Panda with Wi-Fi antenna, micro USB cable, mouse and keyboard dongle, and the screen. It is working as expected, it hasn't turned on. Some people report that once they hit the start button it turns off. Well, it haven't turned off, it's working well for me. Let's check out the task manager to check out the, the processor speed, how the speed it is working. Oh. Here we have it that the Latte Panda processor is running um, on low speed because, well, actually, it is. it doesn't have any kind of load right now, so that's why it goes like that from down, up and down with the speed. But pretty good. We can see that it 
is using um, 1.0, 1 gigabyte, 1 full gigabyte right now of the of the 2 gigabyte it has. So of that is um, that may be some issue for some that want to run some RAM intensive um, applications and software. But the good news is that Nate Panda also has a 4 gigabyte version of it. This is the 2 gigabyte RAM, 32 gigabyte EMC. So Nate Panda also have a 4 gigabyte version for you. So there we have. It's working pretty well. It has the Arduino logo over here because we can draw them on Arduino because it has an Arduino coprocessor so we can um, do some Arduino stuff in it so that's pretty neat that's pretty great too and well here we have our Latte Panda up and running now if you got your Latte Panda I hope you are enjoying it and you're not having any issues with it um, I hope you enjoyed this video of me powering it up. Again, remember, this is the power button. This one, not this, or this one. It is this one. That is the power button. So press it for like a second and it will power up. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. If you did, please like this video, comment on it, share this video, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.